What's up guys? This is uh, Ty Zen. It's really late guys, but I wanted to make this video real quick guys because I've had a ton of my friends and just people emailing me and asking me what's going on with the Lisk launch. And I just want to make this really quick video before I hit the sack guys and let you guys know what I know so far. Okay, so there's a bunch of jackasses out there that is DDoSing the uh, Lisk website. So if you guys go to the academy.lisk.io, you guys will notice that they give instructions on how to access your web wallet, which means, remember, uh, Lisk is it's, uh, similar to how uh, NXT has their wallet. You log on to a browser, you use your uh, browser to access your wallet, and you put in the passphrase, and then that gives you access to your Lisk coins and you can control where you send it and what happens is there's a group of people DDoSing the um, uh, the uh, the Lisk website where you log in at so at academy.lisk.io they explain how they have the screenshots and the tutorials on how to access their site and then on the um, login.lisk Dot io is where you actually log in to access your uh, your um, your uh, which we call it to access your uh, uh, actual wallet. I'm tired, guys, but I'm trying to get this out to you as quick as I can, guys. Once I got the information, okay. So what happens is a bunch of people are ddosing it, and it's it's collapsing the site, so nobody's able to access it. Now we know that there's only a few thousand people. I think like, uh, let me see here real quick. Um, there's only like four, I think it's four or 5,000 people that actually invested into Lisk. Okay. There's only a few thousand people. I'm trying to find out where it's at right here. Trying to pull this up, guys. Uh, give me one second here. Okay, so there's only um, there's only like four or five thousand people that actually invested into Lisk. If you look at their uh, statistics, if you go to their blog.lisk.io you will see that they have a uh, there's a thing called Lisk ICO statistics and they show that um, let me see the total number okay the total number of unique participants meaning that there were 3900 and eight people, basically 3,900 people that invested into Lisk and their website, login.list.io, got hit with like 50,000 uh, connections or something like that, right? And the reason why that's happening is that there's a bunch of idiots out there and that are trying to DDoS, they're trying to attack the website to make it fail. Now, the question that you guys might be asking is that why in the world would someone want to attack the website for and prevent the in 3,900 Lisk investors from accessing the site? And let me tell you what I know, okay? Based on what I know, right, there are people, there are several ideas or theories or let's just say conspiracy theories about this. Now, I have no proof of this, okay? So I want you guys to understand that I have no proof of this and no evidence of it. But I want you guys to think from a money perspective what's happening, okay? And this is what I'm thinking of, okay? Is that somebody out there that has a large inventory, they bought a bunch of Lisk, let's say a million Lisk, for example, and they want to sell their Lisk coins before everybody else. They want to get their Lisk coins to the exchange and be the first ones able to sell it. So to prevent the other 3,900 people from accessing their Lisk and sending it to the exchanges like Yobit.net, or poloniex.com uh, to convert their list coins into bitcoins, what they're doing is 
they are pretty much putting up a roadblock or a dam to prevent the investors, the 3,900 investors, from being able to access their list coins. And because of that, they're not able, it's locked up. So the, the site was uh, shut down. It was, you know, it kept saying uh, blockchain download. It kept saying 505 error. It kept saying all kinds of stupid error messages. And basically, myself and everyone could not access their list coins. So, so because we couldn't access our coins, but if you look on Poloniex and Yobit, they're actually trading it. So somebody already has those coins early, somebody that's more technical that did not require the use of the browser login. They downloaded the list software to their desktop and they used that desktop wallet version and they sent their list to the exchanges already and they turn around and they DDoS and attack the website to prevent people like less technical people like myself and like you guys from accessing it. Okay, so that's one conspiracy theory. The second one is that there's a lot of people on the exchanges and in the troll boxes at uh, TradingView, at Poloniax, at Yobit that are accusing the developers and the creators and the founders of lists, right? Such as Max uh, and Oliver, the two guys in charge of the list, and they're accusing them of being the ones that are front running everyone to unload their eight million. Because each one of those guys have four million lists. Now that's not a secret that's public on their website. They've made it very transparent, okay? And I'm not taking sides or anything, and I'm not like supporting Max or Oliver, but I will state the facts of this and what I believe to be true, okay? Is that if we accuse the, the, these idiots that are accusing Max and Oliver of front running uh, all the investors, I don't believe that. And here's the reason why, guys. First of all, front running means that if I know that you want to buy a stock for $10 and I know that over here it's available for $9. Right before you put your order in, as soon as you put your order in, and before you can buy that stock for nine dollars, what I will do is I will run over there ahead of you, buy it for nine dollars, and take that order away so it's no longer available for nine dollars, and then turn around and sell it to you for nine ninety nine for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Now the reason why the computer will fill my order and sell it to you is because you put in an order uh, to buy it at uh, nine dollars. Okay. Um, and this is the it's no longer available and this is the next best price so you the computer automatically fills your market order with what I have available so that's how uh, front running works okay this happens every day in the stock markets in the currency markets it happens every day that it be, it's just pretty much that's just you just gotta assume that that's what they're doing okay even though they say they're not doing it they're doing it okay but it happens every day so that's like it's no longer a secret or a mystery because everybody's, you know, all the big boys on Wall Street are doing it. So that becomes the market norm where every day they're front running the small uh, traders, the guys that have, you know, billions of dollars worth of fiber optics and faster internet. They're just front running everybody. And that's normal, okay? That's the reason why I don't recommend scalping and trading on a small time frame. You trade on a larger time frame, okay? But back to this list, a lot of people are accusing of uh, the developers, Max and, and Oliver, from uh to to front run everyone, I don't believe that because these guys have four million lists each, and it's 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 a conflict of interest. It's against them. They would actually lose a lot of money trying to front run everyone. Okay, and if the word ever gets out that they try to front run their investors, then then the, the for the rest of their life their reputation is ruined. Whereas they would benefit more financially if they never do something stupid like that, okay? So I don't believe that they, they, they did that, okay? There's no evidence of that, okay? The second thing too, guys, is that the blockchain is very transparent. Like D James D'Angelo said in the World Bitcoin Network, one of the most powerful tools that we have with the blockchain is that's transparent so that everyone can see everything. So what happens is if they did try to front run and send their coins, their list coins to the exchanges to unload it first before everybody else, right? Because they're the only ones that have the list coins available. Everyone would be able to see that on the blockchain and be able to verify that and call them out for it. And then their entire project will go downhill. Meanwhile, they have about 8 million, you know, millions of dollars at stake um, in their inventory, in their portfolio. 
and it's not in their best interest to do that. So I don't believe that they would purposely go out there and destroy the entire network and they lose millions of dollars. I mean, these two guys are pretty much set for life based on how much list coins that they have. And if they make it succeed, they're going to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars or, you know, dozens of millions of dollars. So it's, to me, it's not in their best interest to do that. So I don't believe when these trolls and these idiots that don't know how trading works accuse them of of uh of uh front running the everyone i don't believe that okay now there is a third conspiracy theory that's available to where i believe that you know that's also available i'm not saying it's correct or i'm saying that it's right but it's a combination of the first one and it's a combination of the first two okay the first one and the second one where let's just say that the, the developers want to front run everybody but they Everybody's going to recognize that when they move their list coins on the blockchain, everybody can see that. So what they do is they hire somebody else to do it for them. Okay, so that could be another option. The another conspiracy conspiracy theory that could possibly happen, right, is that the 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 bad exchanges. Now, for some reason, I have never trusted Yobit.net because their exchange does it just looks really fishy to me. Okay. The, the reason why they uh, um, they uh, they uh, do what they do, it just seems really fishy to me. And what I'm, it's just, that's not, the, the way their chart prices are for the, the proxy market of how the list IOU tokens that they created are traded, it just seems really fishy and suspicious to me, okay? So another conspiracy theory that can happen is this, right? Is that Yobit already got their, you know, X amount of their large quantity of uh, of list coins, and they're the ones that's DDoSing the uh, and attacking the uh, list website so that the users like us cannot access it. Now, I have no evidence of that, but the only piece of, uh, uh, and it's not even real evidence, it's just my personal opinion, okay? So I don't want you guys to think that, that I'm just, I'm just throwing out the different options that could have possibly caused this disaster on the launch of list today okay so what's possible is that they needed to unload all their um, the majority of their list coins so they have it already because they the guys at yobit.net they are more technical than the rest of us so they they uh, they after they un after they transfer the the after the list were made public and available to everyone in their accounts they probably took it and transferred it to the exchange immediately and started selling it. Meanwhile, they turn around and, uh, and attack the website so that no one else can remove their uh, list coins and send it to Poloniex to unload it, okay, and to convert it to Bitcoins, okay? So those are just a few things that cross my mind that could possibly happen, guys. Like I said, I have no evidence if any of this is true or not, but it just seems uh, uh, very, very suspicious to me that this is what's going on, okay? The other thing too, guys, is that um, is that there are some good news about this, you know, is that Lisk opened at a very high price um, on Yobit and on um, Poloniex. So that's, that's the good news, is that they open up at a very, very good price. I just wanted to make this quick video and share it with you guys, and then maybe tomorrow when I wake up and I have some time and I look at the after the dust settles, I'll be able to give you guys another update of what I figured out. But so far, everything I've shared with you in this guy's videos is just my personal opinion of what I think could have possibly happened. Like I said, I don't have any evidence, any proof, right? It would I would have to, you know, someone would have to do a very thorough forensic, right? But it just seems so very suspicious to me of what all the things is going on. There's a big player out there that has a control of a lot of lists and they're purposely attacking the list.io website so the rest of the investors the other 3900 investors cannot access it okay so i'm going to go ahead and upload this right now guys and i'll update you guys uh, as i go along and find out more information um i got my buddy leonfood.com the oracle of cryptocurrency he was on a plane during the entire time while uh, list was being launched and uh, he's out near los angeles right now uh, during this launch of uh, list so because of that um, I was unable to get a hold of him to figure out what's going on. And when he finally landed, he called me immediately. And we tried to have a call recording, a 30-minute call recording, where he and I were trying to figure out what was going on. 
The only problem was with these stupid call recorders that I've been using on my Samsung Android phone, they're not working clearly. And so even though we had a 30 minute conversation where we try to figure it out what it was and I try to, uh, to upload it and share it with you guys, the audio quality is so poor that I had to just pretty much get rid of it and then have to shoot this video real quick for you guys before I hit the sack, okay? So um, that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this update and give me a thumbs down if you guys don't like it and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in a future video tomorrow, okay? Thanks for watching this and I'm gonna hit the sack, guys.